That's really super. I'm really proud of you. And are you wearing your glasses all the time? Awesome. Well done. High five. During medical school, I was always thinking about becoming a pediatrician. However, there was a mandatory two-week rotation in ophthalmology during my third year, which was quite fortuitous because I really fell in love with ophthalmology at that time. I just loved being able to give my patients something very tangible back to help improve their vision or their alignment. All done. Here comes the chair. So ready for some stickers, girls? My name is Melanie Kaslis. I'm a pediatric ophthalmologist at Boston Children's Hospital. This is sort of my, I call it my pretend bicycle. We've got handlebars over here. You can hold onto the handlebars and then put your chin here and your forehead to here. Okay. The way that we approach treating strabismus in children is different than treating adults who have strabismus. There are numerous causes of why a child could present with eye misalignment there could be a congenital issue that's the only problem affecting the child or it can be part of a genetic syndrome or some other disorder that involves other parts of the eye. So I really tailor my approach to treating strabismus in children based on those factors. Sometimes to treat strabismus in a child, it may be as simple as giving them a pair of glasses or other times it may be involving an injection with botulinum toxin. Children grow up who previously had strabismus and we really continue to be their care providers throughout their life. Peekaboo, I see you. So let's try with Daddy first, okay? <gasps> He's playing peekaboo. Oh my goodness, look at that. I always want to make the patient experience, especially for the children that I see, to be as happy and fun as possible. It can be a little bit daunting, a little overwhelming, especially for children who may be a bit apprehensive about what's gonna happen during their exam. I like to use language that they can understand. I have many toys that I'd like to engage the kids in to make them feel comfortable. I'll often talk to the parents first to show that the child can trust me because I'm talking to their parents. And this can establish rapport with children as I have to do more with regard to the exam. I love putting stickers on my nose and I feel that I'm just a big kid at heart. So it's something that I think the kids can enjoy as well.